Good morning friends. So how have you all been? Today we are here with our upper body circuit. This week again is a different format. 10 exercises broken in 2. So 5, 5. 2 sets of exercises of 5 and 5. And we do it in 2 rounds. So first 5 exercises done twice. Second 5 exercises done twice. I will do in the set of 10 and 10. You can do it as 10 and 8. You can take lighter set of weights and do 10, 10, 10, 3 rounds. Or you can do 10, 8, 6, 3 rounds. It's completely your choice. I intend to take heavy set of weights in probably all the exercises. And only when I just can't, I have a previous impingement of my shoulders. I will see. If I can't, I will switch to the lighter set of weights. Or else, I will go with a heavier set of weights. First five exercises exclusively for the upper body. Second five exercises, hands and uh, abdomen as well. So we'll be getting to our abs and upper body. So let's start with our warm up. March of place. Tap, tap. So it's not timer based, but it's a count based workout for today. Shoulders, shoulders and keep tapping. Shoulders, shoulders. Shoulders, shoulders, reverse, 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 reverse. Hands, big squints, big circles, completely from the shoulder. Reverse. Take your heavy set of weights for today's workout. We do it slow, contracted, and focus more on strengthening and toning. Stretch, 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 stretch. Neck. Anyone who has problem with cervical spine like this, they can keep uh, a pair of light set of dumbbells as well. You can use water bottles. Rotate from down. Back. Upward rotation. Pelvis. Nice big circles for the pelvis. Reverse. Let's mobilize. Big one. Swing from your hand. Keep your knees straight. There you go. So the first one is shoulder press alternate. Okay. So I have my six kgs with me and we go shoulder width apart. Start. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. That makes it each hand 10. Right? Shake off your hands and get ready for the second exercise. Take up your hands. Have a count of three, two, and one. Alternate. One and side. Two. Three. Four. Breathe out. Nine, 
Laat ons weer kan af. Met de heavy zero weight. Lift. As much as you can. Five on each hand over. We go for the next one. You can do how much you can.
take a break of one minute and we'll come back for the same set with lesser set of weights. So ready for the second round of the same set. Alternate shoulder press. One, three, five, nine, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ah, that was easy with the lighter set of weights. So, so I think it's up to you. If you can manage with the same heavy set of weights, go ahead. But 6 kg was heavy for me, especially when it comes to uh, leg rise. So probably I'll keep switching. Second exercise, not wasting much of time now. Front and back rotates. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Don't swing your back. Ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, ah, two, one. Ah. Now, next is hammer girl. Two chicken wings. Let me take the higher set of weights here. Start. One chicken wings. Two. Three. Ah, okay. This is really tough for me now. My hands are tired. Three. Keep going, keep going. Four. Five. Three kg is better. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. So what does this chicken wings do? This chicken wings gives you strengthening of your pectoralis major. Very, very good exercise to give you a firm look on your upper body. So First three, over. Next is rows to kick back. Let me again give it a try with a high set of weights. Leg shoulder width apart. Bend. Come on, go. Three, two, one. Two. Squeeze your shoulder blades at the back. Three. Four. My sweat dripping. <laughs> Six, eight, nine, ten. Shake 
off your hands. Shake off your hands. Next is bicep curls. Two upright. I think I'll try to celebrate there. And we'll be done with the second round of the first set. Bicep curls to upright. One, two, three, four, five. Seven, eight, nine, ten. That's it. So, all those who have time and energy can go for the third round, which is gonna be again, you can do it ten counts or eight counts. It's up to you. So, you can definitely go ahead with the second round. So now we come to the second set of our exercises. All 
knees will be better on one hand. Three.
position is over. Yeah. You wanna take a break? Take a break. Sip some water and come back. Whoa! 
and the arms. Ah. Two more. That's it, guys. Just two more. Alternate two leg plank. Shake up your hands. Just ten. That means five on each side. Total plank count will be ten. Come on, come on, come on. One. Two, three, four, lift from your glutes, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, yay, just one more left, see guys, the struggle is real, I'm a real woman like you, I have kids, I have my own set of responsibilities and still I choose to make time for myself. Real women, real struggles, real you, real me. Cheers. Last one. Double extensions in plank. Come on, come on. Just the last one. Let's do it. Nice plank and one. Feel it on your abs. Two on your shoulders. Three on the upper back. Four on the chest. Five. Come on, five more. Halfway through six. Put your hands on the door 
and stretch out your shoulders. So I'll show you here. Your, you take your hands here and then press out the shoulders completely. The same way, I'll show you the other hand here on the wall and then press out your shoulders completely. You can do it on the door, anywhere you have space at your home. How did you find today's workout? This week, let's rock on the upper body. See you soon next week with lower body set. Thank you so much. Enjoy. So guys, welcome to the new week, new round. And as... Um, the plan goes is we are going to focus on our upper body. So uh, we have 10 exercises and we are going to use a different format this time. We will break our exercises into 5 each and do in repetitions. Let me take you to the workout set. So the first exercise is alternate dumbbell shoulder press. Up at your shoulders and go 1 and 2, 3 and 4. What you don't do is don't exert the pressure from the knees or your back. Don't do that. Okay? You go straight. No swimming of the back. No jerking your knees. You're not taking the pressure from your knees. Straight up, straight down. That's the first exercise. The second exercise is frontal and leg raise. So it's alternate. I come here with a heavier set of weight. I might find it difficult to go on the laterals. Let's see. Front is here. Exactly till my shoulder level. One and on the side till my shoulder level. This. I do one on my right hand and the second time on my left hand. So this is the alternate front to that with grace. Next is hammer curl to chicken wings. Hammer curl. Again, slow going down, fast up, controlled going down. No swinging, swinging from the back. And then you come almost oblique and go to your armpit. This. So chicken wings. This. Hammer curls to chicken wings. Got it? The next exercise is rows to kick back Sh legs shoulder width apart bend almost 30 degree soft knees rows from front till your armpit and kick backs back as much as you can rows to kick backs now if you find it difficult do alternate rows kick back row kick back you can do it alternate. So all the, these exercises, the first five exercises, it's up to you. I would try to do 10 on each hand. You can do total 10, that means 5 5, it's up to you. Whatever it is, try to challenge yourself each time. So if you're doing single hand row, 10 on one side, 10 on one side, or total 20. That's it. The fifth one is bicep curls to upright. In front, Elbow next to your waist, a V, bicep curl, turn upright, elbow up, the dumbbells right on top of your chest, down. Bicep curls, upright. So breathe out and make it up. The strength coming from your abs and your elbows. Know where you're swinging the back. These are the first five exercises. We do it in two rounds. Coming to the next five, all we go on a plank. So let me tell you how to do a perfect plank first. You come up on a tabletop position, hands one palm in front, come up and your toes take it in front. So your armpit, your shoulder and wrist are in one line. Back doesn't go up, doesn't get down. This is a perfect plank. As we keep doing exercises, 
one after the other in plank. Your form might shift a bit. Consciously try to be careful of the form. And it's okay if you go a little here and there. The point is not to hurt your back again. Please do not swing your back. Breathe out. And now I'll show you all the five exercises with a plank. The first one is double, double drag, DDD. So you go in your perfect send plank. Take one dumbbell, put it on the other side. The second dumbbell, put it on the other side. Again, take it on one side, on the other side, and keep repeating it for the count of 10. Now, the next exercise is with plank is plank T rotation. Again, extended plank, lift one, up straight, come down. Lift the other side, up straight, and just keep doing it. So you keep rotating yourself in T plans. Last three exercises. So, plank rows. Properly it is done like this. You're on the dumbbell, in extended plank, and you lift. People like me, who can't balance a lot, and are scared of it, I always prefer to do it. One leg, one hand down, lifting, one leg. Also, if you take higher set of weights, it's difficult. Lift it till your waist and come down. So they are rows in plank. The next one is alternate double leg plank. Again, a beautiful plank and lift alternate hands, alternate legs. Lift the legs from the glute. You will find better balance on one side. I find better myself on right leg and left hand. So, see again, the proper plank and lift from the glute, push yourself in front, lift from the glute, lift from the glute. So your hips, should rise. Try to keep it as straight as possible. Then, uh, the last one is plank dumbbell extensions. What you do? Place your hands on either side of the mat. Get a little behind. Again in plank. And then, from here, extend. As you extend, Go as much as you can, you feel a stretch right on the side of your abs. Come down and go on the other side as much as you can. In between. Try to be shifting your body weight on the right and left as less as possible. I'm already tired showing the technique. Let me join you all in the workout. Hope you enjoyed today's session and hope it is a fruitful session for you. See ya!